Hi everyone, I'm Mohammed from Proof Photoshop World. Today I'm going to make you learn how to write on clear text. Like this one, look how text are written and this you can replace it with any text, with shapes, with hearts, anything you like. So first open Photoshop, any version you have. I'm using in this tutorial Photoshop CS6 and I uh, Go file new. I'm using a document of. I'm going to open to image so, so you can see it. One nine hundred and twenty pixels, one thousand ten eighty pixels in height. Resolution one hundred and fifty pixels dot pixels and inch. And click OK. First, go to gradient. And go click here and you must choose the first one for ground and background one you are going to find it here click on this one and you are going and click color and then you are going the color picker is going to open so write in it 4 to B A A F F and click OK then go to this one right click click right on the color and then the color picker is going to up choose zero right type in zero zero four eight ff and then go click ok and then go at the bottom of the page cl click shift and drag a line it's going to look like this so then go here write the text you want to write it in sky or shape or anything you want so go here write whatever you want without with any font but i think that Arial is amazing font and writing in this Arial narrow i'm using 300 pt in size and i'm going to choose the color white better you write it in white please and then go i am going to write short text so we can have much time and I'm going to write high only. And then go click control to select it. Select the text. Then you are going to find that the text is selected. Go to passes and click in the arrow make work pass. Make toolner toolners zero dot five pixels. Then go to layers. Delete the text layer because we are not going to use it. And you're going to find it like this. And then go to new layer. Choose the brush. And I'm going to open brush presence. Can if you don't see it, you can go to window, and you're going to find brush, and brush presence. Choose any, you choose brush, and then this is going to open. Brush deep shape. Make size 120, 25 pixels or any size you want. Angle zero, round this one hundred percent, hardness zero percent, spacing twenty five percent, and then go to shape dynamics. Make size filter one hundred percent, minimum diameter zero percent. Angel shelter 
0%, rounders renter 30%, minimum rounders 25%, and flip X, Jetter, and Y, Jetter. And then go up in texture, go here, and go to this, and make and check large list, and then go patterns, choose patterns, click OK, it's not going to make a problem, and then select clouds. Make scale 160%. Brightness and contrast zero. Mood color burn. Shack texture each step. Depth 100%. Depth jitter 0%. Control F. Then go to transfer. Past the jitter 21. Flow jitter 48%. And control off. Controlling the two are off. And then go to smoothing. Check smoothing. And then go here. Then go to passes. Select this. Select the pass. And go make stroke pass. Choose brush. And uncheck similar pressure. And click OK. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I made the color black. Make sure that the color is white. So the stroke pass can be white like sky's color. And you know. And go brush. Okay. And now. When you click any place in the work pass. And you're going to find that it's right. Now we must add clouds. Out. So go when you are selecting the layer one, click control and click new layer. This is going to make a new layer under the last layer. And then go choose here, here in this color. Choose from the, your pattern color, this color. And click OK. So go, click Alt and Delete, and then go Filter, Cloud, Render, Clouds. Make Mood, Pin Light, and the Opacity. Sixty-five percent or less as a lot. Then go select the two layers, the te text layer and the clouds layer. Go edit, transfer, perspective. This is going to transfer these two layers, and then you can go from here when you go control minus. I'm sorry, but I made something wrong. So go, edit, transform, perspective. And then go, make this go like this. You can make this go like this. So it can give us S possession and you know you can in brush present after you make this brush you can save it it's better to save it and the things that you must really save it so after you finish all this I'm going to move this so I can see it
then go here and click in the new layer and then like this you made it I am trying to make it to you because of my only laptop size it's so it's small so it's not so important but you must do it it's not so important for me because I saved before this one so I didn't need to use a step of saving it. now but we are going you can name it anything this is my brush now you can use this brush after you finish can you can make a new layer this is only well I'm going to hide all I'm going to hide all the above layers I'm going to make you see the clouds I mean that I'm going only to make you see these two not the attackers and I'm going to use this brush and go if you made now you choose the white color it have a problem it's still making the size so wait till it so wait till it loads it maybe takes time if you are making a pick like this I'm I made my brush big so I'm going to small it only So I'm going to small it. I'm waiting for it to finish loading because I made it a really big size. I made it 1,500. So it becomes so big. So it takes time so it loads it. Now it's going to be good. But he made it so big. I'm going to make it more bigger. I'm going to use it 150. And I'm going to remove the last brush I made. And then let's start working. Can go here like this. And draw hard. And draw hard like this or any shape or you can get a shape from custom shapes and make it the, as we made here and make it stroke pass and you are going to make the shape made it like cloud and so more so thanks for watching us have have a nice day Waiting, don't forget to subscribe, like, and rate.